Hello, hello friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel Vision Innovative. So today's video is all about human bone anatomy. The human skeleton is the internal framework of the human body. It is composed of around 270 bones at birth. This total decreases to around 206 bones by adulthood after some bones get fused together. The bone mass is the skeleton reaches maximum density around age 21. Names of bones Scapula, clavicle, humerus, radius, ulna, scaphoid, lunate, trichotrum. The adult human skeleton is made up of 206 bones. The thoracic case surrounds the heart and lungs. The vertebral column, commonly called the spine, is formed by over 30 small bones. Then there are the limbs and the griddles that attach the four limbs to the vertebral column. Structure of bones Compact bone tissue is composed of osteons and forms the external layer of all bones. Spongy bone tissue is composed of trabeculae and forms the inner part of all bones. Four types of cells compose bony tissue. Osteocytes, osteoclast, osteoprogenitor cell and osteoblast bone exerts important function in the body such as locomotion, support and protection of soft tissues, calcium and phosphate storage and harboring of bone marrow. Osteoblasts are bone cells that are responsible for bone formation. Osteocytes are mature bone cells and are the main cells in bony connective tissue. These cells cannot divide, divide. It maintain normal bone structure by recycling the mineral salt in the bony matrix. Five types of bones in the skeleton, flat, long, short, irregular and sesamoid. Microscopic structure of a bone. The basic microscopic unit of bone is an osteon. These are roughly cylindrical structures that can measure several millimeters long and around 0.2 mm in diameter. Each osteon consists of lamellae of compact bone tissue that surround a central canal that is aberration canal. Bone are made up of two tissue types. Compact bone also known as optical bone. This hard outer layer is strong and dense. Cancellous bone also known as trabecular bone. Types of bones The five principal types of bones are long, short, flat, irregular and sesamoid. Flat bones protect internal organs. These are flat bones in the skull. Occipital, parietal, frontal, nasal, lacrimal and vomor. Flat bones protect brain, heart and pelvic organs. Flat bones can provide protection like a shield. It also provides large areas of attachment of muscle. Long bones The long bones, longer than they are wide, include femur. Femur is the longest bone in the body. Long bones function to support the weight of the body and facilitate movement. Long bones are mostly located in the appendicular skeleton of skeleton and include bones in the lower limbs, the tibia, fibula, femur, metatarsals and phalanges, and bones in the upper limbs, the humerus, radius, ulna, metacarpals and phalanges. Hot bones are cube shaped located in wrist and ankle joints. They provide stability and some movement. The carpels in the wrist that is scaphoid, lunate, tricutral, humid, pisiform, capitate, trapezoid and trapezium. The tarsals in the ankles, calcinus, tallus, navicular, cuboid, lateral cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform and medical cuneiform. Then irregular bones vary in shape and structure and therefore they do not fit into any other category. Flat, short, long and sesamoid. They have fairly complex shape which helps protect internal or sesamoid bone. These are the bones embedded in the tendons. These small round bones are commonly found in the tendons of the hand, knee and feet. It is function to protect tendons from stress and wear. The patella commonly referred as the kneecap is the example of scissored bone. So that is all for today's video. If you want to see more videos then please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.